Oh, that's a big. Oh, God. Oh, baby. All right. First stop, Austin, Canoe, and Kayak. We're going to see if they got an accessory we're looking for out here. Just give me a sign if you want to go. Just give me a sign. The Austin mini series, man, we're having a lot of fun out here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel on day two of the Austin mini series. Devin and I are just getting woke up. We're in our hoodies, man, because the AC unit and this thing is cranking. I mean, they kept it on like 66 degrees. She's comfy. This little gym right here, her name's Eleanor, and uh, she's got her own Instagram page. We're going to show you guys exactly what this thing is all about. Little tiny house Airbnb that we uh, booked last minute on a whim to come down to Austin, Texas, fish with some friends and create more YouTube videos for you guys. Let's give you the walkthrough. Devin, let's step inside. Ooh, check us out. No way. One of the first things you'll notice is all the space in this place. The thing is crazy. Check us out. We got the little living space right here. Bring it on around to our workspace. We had all of our stuff charging right here last night. We did a little work on the computer over here. Bed is up top, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Curtains all around. Check this thing out if you need extra workspace. This thing drops down right here. Boom. Expand your workspace. <laughs> if you want a little extra room, check it out. Have your coffee, get some work done in the morning, or just chillax. Check this place out though, man. Decked out. Bandito bug hoodie, say 15%, link in description. Yeah. Juicy, man. Look at this place. Nice little shower, perfect if you're five foot seven in here. I'm telling you what, any taller you might be in trouble. Well, hot water heater lasted good, dude. We both took showers last night. It was feeling cozy in this place. Big old fridge. This must be the small hot water unit. You got, uh, you got your George Foreman. You got your stove tops behind door number three. Boom, pots and pans, spices. Paper towels, good to go. Look at this little spot. Chillax there, do some Instagramming. Here we go with a little laundry section. Nice look. <laughs> <laughs> this works, this works. <laughs> it looks cozy. I, I had to say. Let me take you guys to the master bedroom. Check this out. Woo, look at this thing right here. If you want to get an idea of like actual space. <laughs> Sweet, man. Like I said, five foot seven, no complaints. This is the way to, uh, this is the way to live. Power outlets galore up here. Big old TV. We could like stream some of the John B. Amistad series while we were out here if we wanted to. We just kind of watched it on the iPhone. Probably should have put it on the big screen. Look at the view. Just a cool little pad, man. Glad we booked this thing, but this is day two. We're now gonna get out and do some fishing. We're gonna go hit up a popular lake in the area with our buddy Jared Swafford. Check him out. His information's down in the description below. And yeah, just one little final look. Airbnb rental, man. You guys got to get on this thing. It's so much fun. Come down to Austin, have a good time, do some fishing. Let's get after him. Starting to warm up out here, guys. Uh, we're taking off. See you, Eleanor. It's one of these. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just rocked up to Austin Canoe and Kayak first stop. We're gonna link Eleanor down in the description, but uh, actually, we're gonna get one of these parking poles for Jared. He's been so kind and giving us so many things, baits and all that stuff, secret little fishing locations. So uh, we're gonna grab something for him. That's oh, funny, man. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. I appreciate you. All right, man. We walked out with what we came for. Huge shout out to Nick behind the sales counter, man. Cool dude. He watches some of the videos. That's so funny. Let's get over to the lake. Second stop, Chipotle. All right, man. Time to eat and fish. Oh, that's a big, oh God. All right, man, we stuffed our faces with a little Chipotle. It's time to gear up. Stay protected from the sun. Gill goggles. Oh, you know what? I need my Wu Tungsten face shield. My nose was feeling it yesterday. There we go. Locked and loaded. Oh yeah. 
Let's do this. She's <laughs> fresh with the sunscreen. <laughs> Jared says she's bold for wearing the shorts. <laughs> we just got here, just uh, parked in the reeds. It's time to catch some big fish, man. We're all throwing the swim baits again today. We might vary some things up later, but for now, it's all about the working class zero citizen. I'm ready, man, and I got this thing right here. My nose is gonna be feeling real nice today. Hey, before you cast, we got you something. Oh, no way. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's so sick. Nice. That's the stuff right there. Dude, lock in. <laughs> Jeez. Dude. And now, depending on the spot, it'll be rock or whatever, but you know. All right, well, we need to get tied on with the Citizen Six. I'm going to drop the seven for just a minute. God, I hope I was recording because I don't know if I stopped that footage. Now we're filming. <laughs> All right, guys, first fish in the boat. Damage was done with that Citizen 6. We just moved across the lake. This is the cove that we were in last night and uh, all the fish seem to kind of be hanging out in here. It's proving to be the same thing today. Uh, Jared had just gotten a hit and I cast it out and was able to land this guy. I had just changed my GoPro battery and I did not start my GoPro. And that is the reason why you did not see this catch. Lucky for you, we're about to catch a lot more. This is just the start of today. We'll go ahead and get this guy back in the water and get after him. <laughs> Too many Red Bulls. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Starting off right out here. Oh, I'm in the goods, man. A bite should be happening right now. Yeah. Green spec. Oh, okay, it's a five. It's a five plus. That's a good one. Come here, kid. Come on in here. Okay, he ain't no five. I lied. <laughs> he ain't no five. On the six. That's what's up. Emerald speckle. No, no, no. He's got it. I mean, he's upper threes. Man, they're trying to cheat me out of my size. Guess. What is this? This is horse. Yeehaw, boys. We out here in Texas. <laughs> Jared, Jared said, they've seen this color too much. <laughs> I was like, oh, smacked. Yeah, this one actually, he's got he's got that uh, curb appeal. That's a fatty. Yeah, certified. Good for a minute. <laughs> Holy smokes. Dude, these owner beast hooks, that thing's not playing. All right, let's get the rod situated, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this guy in the water for a minute, give her a breather. Yeah, we've had this fish in the water for just a second while Devin cruised over here, very healthy fish. Not quite a five, as I said when I first saw it jumping. That mouth looked really good, y'all. But check us out, we're about to put her on the scale and show you what she does weigh. I'm thinking threes. I, sp I might've spoke too soon. Holy smokes. Only a three pounder. I was thinking it felt pretty dang good. I know y'all saw that fight. Check this baby out. That is a nice fish right there. My first one of the day. We are uh, maybe three hours in. I think we got out here on, at two o'clock or so. It's closing in on 5 p.m. Let's go ahead and get this fish back in the water. What's going on? Fish all day. Yeah, this is, uh, What's going on, man? Good, nice to meet you. No way. No way, and it's a big. <laughs> nice fish for first cast. Golly, yeah. smoking them. That's bad luck. I always hear first cast, but it is. <laughs> it's okay, a curse having, now. Have another now how's the, how's the night gonna go? Luck up until <laughs> Too easy, man. Too easy. Yeah. We're gonna have to uh, link the whole crew down in the description. I'm telling you what, man. We've been out here trying to <laughs> catch something that size. <laughs> I gotta get back in the water, bros. This is retarded. Guys.
I'm like re-rigging the, the dude's nose and I go to put the hook in and look. There ain't no Oh no. my gosh. I'm legitimately <laughs> extremely sad right now. Yeah, that thing's been crushing. Like this has been this has been my go-to. <laughs> this is this is had a long life. Do I try and mend it? <laughs> Alright, check it out. Look what we did. This guy is mended back. He is Frankenstein all over again. Ready to do some damage. Oh god, I'm in grass. Oh no! Oh no! This is a fish! This is a fish! This is a fish! Ah! He wasn't that big! Oh, that's a big, oh God, that's some weight. Oh no. Oh, I think he came off. Oh dude, that was a big one. That was a monster. Certified giant. That had so much weight when I said it. I've been lucky, you know, like when I hook into a big fish, it seems like I've landed them. So I know that does not, I know that does not just happen, but like most of my bigger fish that I've ever caught, they haven't really come off with the boat. I've been very fortunate. That one though, whoa. We came down here to Austin to throw nothing but these big swim baits with the guys. And we've been so persistent, man. And I mean the apex of this hook set. The apex was like right here. It wasn't one of those all the way back. No, I felt the smallest tick I felt this whole trip. That thing probably just engulfed it. Like it wasn't a big bite. I was like, oh, set that hook right there, dude, like a tree stump. That had to have been, surely that would have been my PB because the thing is I've only caught a fish under seven pounds. It was only days ago that uh, Jared had 28 pounds on his top five fish out of this lake and he's been raking up the bigs dudes. If anything, this has been the least amount of action that he's seen out here uh, in the last few weeks. He's come out here maybe 20 days in a row, hasn't been skunked any of the days he's been out here and uh, that's besides the point. That was a freaking giant right there, man. I don't know what that was. Soon as he came up out of the water one time, shook the hook. And I was also transitioning from right to left because I could tell I didn't have too much tension and I needed a little bit more of it and I could get a little bit more if I switched over to that other side. But I don't think that's what did it. It was after that, if I'm not mistaken, it was after that switch up and I was still reeling that it flopped out of the water, was off. Regardless of whether that was bound to happen or not or it was my fault, that was a big man and we, that's what we were here for. We gotta get some more. So I gotta get this line back in the water. I'm throwing that citizen, let's go. Gotcha. Weston. This could be a good fish. This could be a good fish. Weston. Holy crap. <clears throat> Get in the boat. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm in the middle of eating a freaking pretzel. And this dude, he comes up and smacks it. Had my adrenaline going because I didn't know how big he was. He was just fighting with it, going deep, digging deep in that grass. I'm like, I can't stop reeling. I can't let slack. I gotta keep the line tight. And there we go. We'll get him weighed and see what we're working with. Check it out guys, fish number two for me. I just told y'all a little bit about it on the GoPro. Good deal. I couldn't tell quite how big this guy was until I got him closer to the boat because he was digging hardcore into the grass. I just tried to keep my rod tip low. Didn't want him coming jumping out of the water. I haven't caught bigger than a three yet. I want to say this is it. This is it. Let's go ahead and get him on the scale. Dang it. Still on that 288. <laughs> That's my number, man. That's my number this whole trip. All right, we got to get more.
Gotcha. Gotcha. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. Ah. Dang it. That was not a little fish. That was not a little fish. That was not a little fish. Well, she's a little breezy. I'm going to float my way on over to where Devin's at straight across. Then we're going to kind of shoot to the other side and we're going to try and hit the dam right at sunset. Thanks for dedicating the time with us because that was a long haul. I will do, man. Thank you. Maddo's nice to meet you, man. Good fish today. Man, what an amazing couple days down in Austin, Texas. Dude, the tiny house rental was off the chain. Jared, thanks for showing us the spots, brother. This was insane. Probably one of the biggest fish I could have ever caught came off the hook right there. You guys saw that on the big old citizen. Such a different way of uh, fishing, a different style. You know, 99% of the people that we saw, us being the 1%, were casting into the reeds and into the shallows. We were sitting in them, casting out deep on the hunt for some true lunkers and uh, we missed it today but guess what it was a ton of fun the trip was amazing we hope you guys enjoyed the series as much as we enjoyed filming it and we'll catch y'all on the next one probably tomorrow peace <laughs>